I did my first interview today. My first interview as an artist where I was speaking publicly about uh, my art process, how I got into art, how I started in Web3, where I sell my art now. You know, it's just, this is a big step for me, y'all. I mean, this was a big step for me. Uh, The interview took place on a Twitter space. Um, I would assume that a lot of you are familiar with it, but if, if you're not, it's a... It's a feature inside of the app, uh, inside of Twitter itself, where you can have these group calls, basically, similar to, uh, what was the platform, uh, Clubhouse, in the early days, where, you know, there you can assign speakers, and then there's an audience of people that can listen to it live, that kind of stuff, so that's how it was set up, and, uh, you know, I was extremely nervous going into it, but I guess I can go back a little bit. When I was I was first asked asked to do this, it was something that I I knew that I had to start doing if I wanted to, you know, start leveling up more in the space and getting my name out to more people. I would have to start doing these, and speaking publicly is for a a long time was uh it just you know you feel the butterflies and the nerves from doing it but it was just a another another step I needed to take to move forward and even though I was super nervous in the beginning after the first few minutes the guys who the guys who did the interview were amazing um David and Kipps uh they they did a great job to help me you know, feel comfortable, icebreaker type questions where, you know, it wasn't extremely serious, that kind of stuff. And man, they were awesome. I'm I'm gonna leave links below for you uh to both of their Twitter accounts and also the space as well. I'm trying to figure out a way to download the audio. I believe there's a way um one of them near the end of the interview mentioned that they downloaded the audio for one of the previous guests. So I would love to get my hands on that so that I can then post it on this channel for you to see and be able to easily, you know, share it to people who may not have Twitter. And, uh, but you know, if, if you don't have Twitter, most times people have at least YouTube where I can just send them a link and it'll take them straight to the app and they can listen to the interview. Um, I don't want to go all through everything that happened in the interview. You know, there were a lot of fun questions in there, a lot of questions that made me think for a second. And uh, it was my first one of many that I'll be doing in the future. And I was I was happy that, you know, I got some great feedback from the, the host of the show. And also a few people reached out to me in DMs after the the interview was over and they congratulated me and told me that I did a, a good job, especially for, for it being my first space ever speaking live uh, in front of people, you know, that I don't know super well or anything. And after going doing this and you know you come out on the other side saying it was not as bad as my you know your mind our minds are 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 just you know if you if I give myself an inch I overthink stuff a lot well I did a lot I did do that a lot in the past I think this time I didn't try to overthink things so I I think that helped me be a lot calmer but I know that doing these YouTube videos has also helped me a lot with my confidence speaking and I know I, I have a lot to improve on but I have a good base right now and I'll continue to get better with it for sure going forward 
Yeah, it was great. I I look forward. Hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to see it. I mean, not see it, but listen to it at some point, and I hope to have get my hands on that audio very soon. What else I got going on? I made some. I made some really nice art recently that I love. I need to make something tonight before I go to bed for sure. I didn't even make one piece of art today. I had a lot of stuff we were doing. Um, had some errands to run earlier today. The then did the interview. They had to do some other stuff, you know, family stuff. So, yeah, time flew by. And uh, it's almost 1 a.m. at the recording of this right now. And I still need to create something. I have to. And, uh, yeah, man. I, I, sh- I, I thought I would have time to send, send you and other people the link to the interview beforehand. But of course, you know, I should have done it the night before. I knew I, I knew I should have did it then. I just thought that I would have time to do it today before the interview, like reach out to, you know, all the people that I've built, starting to build relationships with. And then, you know, other people who've had questions in the past and would find that's interesting. So, I'll make sure to do that the day before next time for my next space for sure. So that won't happen again. And uh, so that a lot of people can see it live going forward. All right. There's a book, uh, the book I'm going through called good, good to great. I'm thinking, I don't know I mentioned in uh, maybe the last video or the video before last where I'm trying to turn this into a business. Art. It's a business. It's about, you know, I love creating art, putting it out there. That's the part I love. But if I want to make this full time, it has to make income, especially income that can cover expenses here at home and support my family. So I've been really diving deep into a number of business books that help me with the, uh, how I look at it as building the proper structure and mechanisms, systems. And, you know, I need to have some, you know, different main things up here at the top that branch into other stuff. And, you know, it's going to be outside of what the norm is for the Web3 world. I have a lot of ideas that I'm going through in my mind and stuff that I'm going to start implementing very soon so that I can create that, you know, revenue stuff outside of the creation of the art itself, but something that can make money while I sleep. Or that I can make sales and while while I'm sleeping, things that are accessible for a lot of people because I know, um, so, you know, these are tough times for, for a lot of people out there. If there are people out there that want to support you, but they can't afford work like, like mine at the current price, it's around like uh, 300, you know, how crypto up and down. But the value of the current work that I have available is around 350, to, uh, like 275 to 350, depending on where the uh, price fluctuates. So I want to create some stuff that's more, a, a lot more accessible for people who really want to support. And all that money basically goes to covering expenses and then the rest gets reinvested back into what I'm trying to create, whether it's a new software here or some different tools that I can use to further improve the process of uh, my art creation and building out other streams of income with art being the main thing at the top. And uh, I guess the recent business books, just in case you were curious or not, 
of good to great is the one that I'm going through right now. I did wasn't I didn't get into it today. Unfortunately, uh, I had a lot that I was doing and some other stuff I was listening to. But um, good to great and the Bezos letters was a book that I went through recently. It was really really good and um, Alex Hermosi's book. One hundred million dollar leads. I had a bunch of great information, and I look forward to after I finish good to great. I'm listening. I'm gonna go through the one hundred million dollar leads book again. I think that's gonna be a book that I'm gonna stick with and probably listen to multiple times a month, and like every month, it has a lot of stuff in there. And every time I, it was of certain chapters that I kept going back to. And then I would see something or in, that I missed the first time. So I was like, this this video has so much valuable information when it comes to um, structuring the uh, your audience and your your business to where it can start making money without you, you know, having to put that time in. Like you know, you'll build certain mechanisms that'll make them help you make that income for you. What else I got going on? Yeah, besides going through books, uh, I think that's pretty much everything. I don't. I need to get some art done. It's almost one a.m. I need to work on something. But I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to do a video before it got too late. I didn't want to push it off again. I don't think I did one. What did I do one? I don't know. But I just wanted to put a video out there, and. Uh, let you know about the interview that I did recently and some of the other stuff I'm working on. But new series will be uh, will be coming sometime soon. I can't put a date on it, but I'm working on it behind the scenes. I still have ideas that I'm working through. And, you know, when I first started this series, in my head, you know, you, you think, like, oh, I'll be able to get this out in no time. But when you're really trying to uh, make something special, it's like, you know, I got to put a little bit more thought into this. I can't rush this out. So I'm still creating art on, on the side you know, for other things and to showcase on social media and other platforms. But the series itself that I'm working on is, I'm not really showing a lot from that. But I, I want to build it out and make sure it's, it's where I want it to be, you know, before it's ready for the public. If if uh, if you were able to get through the whole video, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for all your support. Um, thank you for what I mean viewing this video it means a lot to me uh, and until next time peace